Hi and welcome to this edition of Fataba Video Update. I'm Steve Califf. Today we're happy to bring you the new 3-axis gyro system from Fataba, the CGY750. Now this unit is not only a 3-axis gyro, but it also includes an integrated governor. Fataba's whole goal in designing this system was to give the end user, the pilot, the feel of a fly barred system, but also maintain the advantages of a fly barless system, of course. Now, so many of the other fly barless systems out there, you get the feeling that you're flying through a computer. You don't really have that connection that you normally have with a fly barred system. But the CGY 750 gives that back to you. So it gives you all of those advantages, again, of a fly barred system, the connection that you feel with a fly barred system, but the advantages, the roll rates, the collective and cyclic uh, rates that a fly barless system has. Now this little unit does use the Futaba S-Bus system, serial bus, and that means you're going to want to use an S-Bus receiver if you're flying the Futaba system. However, if you don't have a Futaba system, you can use what we call the serial bus encoder. And this is a little box that goes in line between the CGY750 and your receiver and it does all the decoding for you so again you can use any system you want with this unit. Now the one big advantage is to having the governor integrated with this unit is that it communicates directly with the gyros. So that means if you do a hard collective pump or something like that instead of that tail moving around those two units have already talked to each other and the governor knows what the gyro is doing, the gyro knows what the governor is doing so it instantly compensates for what's going on. Now this unit is very quick to set up. Uh, you don't need any kind of a computer or anything else like that. Uh, you simply use these four buttons along the bottom to do the programming. Um, it's totally user updatable as well so if we have a software update uh, for it all you have to do is plug this into your computer with our USB interface download the new software into it and you are set with the latest and greatest software for the CGY 750. Let's take a quick look at what comes in the box uh, when you get the 750. Of course this is your control unit, this is your uh, gyro sensor and I want you to see how small this is. Here's a, here's a nickel so you kind of comparison's sake. It is a tiny tiny little sensor. The rest of the box contents, your manual, your connection cable, stays for your, uh, your governor sensor, of course the governor sensor, stickers and mounting pads is all included in the box. Now we've got the CGY 750 powered up for you and we're looking at the main screen that you would see while you're flying. Up in the upper left corner here you'll see the three gyros being uh, just kind of uh, ticking around here, aileron, elevator and then rudder and that's showing you the three gains and the and whether what unit is in the AVCS or normal mode. The N here indicates that the, everything's in normal mode and we're seeing that because we're not hooked up to a receiver. And then over here is our gain. Uh, you'll see 83 on the uh, rudder and zero on the elevator and L run. On the bottom we're looking at gyro or governor information. You see the GV and it's showing off currently. Now if this was set up as a stick switch uh, it would be on when we get to whatever the stick's position is. And then over here is our uh, voltage. Now if we start stepping through some of the menus, uh, the, these are actually informational menus from the main screen. Now the first one we would come to is the maximum RPM the head achieved during uh, a flight. Next thing, if we come over to the next one, the hours and minutes that the engine has been running. This is great for uh, kind of determining if you need a rebuild and this type of thing. Next thing is our OLED and this can be set up so that the backlighting is always on or uh, in a saver mode where it powers down after a certain amount of time. Now here in our operation mode we're determining whether we're going to run it as a gyro and a governor or just a gyro. Now here we're showing the maximum roll rate achieved during the flight and the next one is the maximum elevator rate achieved during the flight. So it really gives you some diagnostics to see what's going on. Alright, well we've taken a look at what's in the box and uh, all the external features of the unit. Now let's get into some of the menus that are used for programming.